Kenneth Kukier, Framers, Human Advantage in an Age of Technology and Turmoil. Dive into the fascinating world of A-Framers, Human Advantage in an Age of Technology and Turmoil, by Kenneth Kukier and discover the power of human framing, our ability to create, analyze, and apply mental models for understanding and solving complex problems. Learn about the impact of framing on everything from political decisions to scientific discoveries and explore the three key components that make up a frame, causality, counterfactuals, and constraints. This compelling book summary will not only teach you how to harness your innate framing abilities, but also showcase the importance of fostering frame pluralism for continued progress in our rapidly changing world. Power of Human Framing The discovery of antibiotics in 1928 brought a revolution in medicine, but their widespread use has led to an increase in antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Regina Barzillay, a professor in artificial intelligence at MIT, reframed the problem by focusing on identifying substances that killed bacteria instead of recreating antibiotic molecules. Barzillay's team used a computer algorithm to search for potential bacteria killers, discovering the molecule halicin. This breakthrough emphasizes the importance of human capacity for framing problems, highlighting the necessity of combining human creativity with AI rather than solely relying on either one to solve complex issues. Antibiotics, discovered in 1928, have been lifesavers for millions. Unfortunately, with the widespread use of these medicines, some bacteria have grown resistant, causing once-treatable infections to become deadly again. The scientific community searched for new alternatives, but constantly creating molecules similar to old antibiotics only led to temporary solutions as bacteria soon adapted. Enter Regina Barzillay, an artificial intelligence professor at MIT, who approached the problem with a different angle, exemplifying a crucial human ability, framing issues in new ways. Barzillay wondered if, instead of recreating antibiotic molecules, it would be more effective to identify substances that eradicated bacteria. Barzillay's team used a computer algorithm to explore numerous molecules and their potential as bacteria killers. In early 2020, they discovered a molecule called halicin, which held the promising potential to treat drug-resistant diseases. With Barzillay's reframing of the problem and the use of AI, they found a solution to a seemingly insurmountable challenge. Despite their success, many attributed it solely to AI, neglecting the essential human component in the discovery. It was Barzillay's reframing that shifted the research approach, and her team chose the specific compounds for the computer to analyze. Moreover, they utilized their biological expertise to confirm Hallison's effectiveness. While AI serves as a powerful objective decision-maker, it lacks the ability to reframe problems creatively. Relying on AI alone will not solve all our future challenges, but neither can we rely only on human intuition. Decisions based purely on emotional judgment can lead to harmful consequences, such as the rise of populism or cancel culture. The key to unlocking solutions for our most pressing concerns, climate change, pandemics, and social injustice to name a few, lies in capitalizing on the human power to frame problems in new ways. By combining human creativity and the technological might of AI, we open the door to novel perspectives and innovative resolutions to tackle our greatest challenges. The Power of Framing The concept of framing, which refers to the mental structures that shape the way we perceive and interpret information, has far-reaching consequences in every aspect of our lives. From the Soviet Union's disastrous agricultural policies and the responses to the COVID-19 pandemic to our understanding of scientific phenomena, getting the right frame is crucial. Identifying and applying the appropriate frame helps us better comprehend our world and can determine the success or failure of policies and ideas. In the 1930s, the Soviet Union sought to apply communist principles to agriculture, adopting Lysenkoism, a theory of plant genetics grounded in Marxist-Leninist ideology. This approach led to bizarre beliefs, such as the notion that crops could be densely planted without competing for resources, mirroring how citizens in a communist society would supposedly refrain from competing with their peers. 
The dire consequences of this framing included massive crop failure, famine, and death. Framing has the power to shape our world in countless ways, emphasizing the importance of selecting the right frame to accurately interpret our surroundings. The COVID-19 pandemic offers a vivid example of how framing dictates outcomes on a global scale. While New Zealand framed the pandemic as a severe outbreak similar to SARS, enacting robust monitoring systems and policies, Britain regarded it as akin to seasonal flu and opted for the controversial herd immunity approach. Consequently, New Zealand became COVID-free within months, meanwhile, Britain suffered one of the highest fatality rates worldwide. Frames not only help us make sense of the present but also provide insight into what has yet to be discovered. For instance, in 2010, scientists employed Einstein's frame of general relativity to predict the paths of two black holes in a gravitational dance. In essence, frames serve as a lens to explain and understand our complex world. Recognizing the critical nature of framing raises the question, what are the components that constitute a frame? To tap into the full potential of framing, it is vital to examine the building blocks that influence our perception of reality. This exploration will pave the way for a more nuanced understanding of the frames that shape our lives and the world around us. Mastering Causal Inferences Ben Bernanke's response to the 2008 financial crisis demonstrates the power of understanding causality, allowing him to frame problems effectively and make well-reasoned decisions. Although humans have a natural ability to draw causal inferences, our understanding can be flawed. By asking ourselves critical questions about the reason behind a causal relationship, we can refine our assumptions and become better problem solvers. During the 2008 financial crisis, economist Ben Bernanke stood out for his unique approach to preventing a complete disaster. When others believed that bailing out individual firms would lead to negative incentives, Bernanke thought differently. Drawing from his study of the 1929 market crash and the Great Depression, he recognized the importance of the central bank's response to economic repercussions. By directing the Federal Reserve to purchase assets from banks, he supplied them with new cash to stimulate the economy. Analyzing causal connections was crucial for Bernanke, as it allowed him to understand system relationships and better frame the problem. One of the main takeaways is that well-reasoned causal inferences can lead to improved problem-solving. Causal understanding is not unique to humans, animals can also learn basic causal relationships, such as a dog understanding that performing a trick yields a treat. However, they cannot extrapolate this understanding to other contexts. Similarly, artificial intelligence requires explicit causal frames to operate effectively. Humans have a natural ability to draw causal connections, but we can also be easily misled. For example, one might assume that a rooster's crowing causes the sun to rise after observing this pattern. This assumption would be disproven when the sun rises even without a rooster's crow. To improve our understanding of causality, we must critically question why certain events occur, explore underlying assumptions, and revise them if necessary. By enhancing our causal understanding, we can become better problem solvers and decision makers. Therefore, when confronted with a causal relationship, we should continually challenge our assumptions and seek well reasoned explanations. Embracing counterfactual thinking During the 2018 World Cup final, referees' decision to count an own goal for Croatia by visualizing an alternate reality served as an example of using counterfactual thinking. Counterfactuals enable us to consider alternate possibilities and causal relationships, preventing us from hastily assigning blame and improving our judgment. From everyday situations such as family dynamics to high-stakes decisions like the Cuban Missile Crisis involving President John F. Kennedy, counterfactual thinking plays a crucial role in expanding our perspectives and enhancing our causal reasoning skills. In the 2018 World Cup Final, French striker Antoine Griezmann took a free kick that ultimately ended as an own goal for Croatia. This decision by the referee stemmed from imagining an alternate reality, a counterfactual, in which the Croatian goalie would have managed to catch the ball without the interference of Croatian defender Mario Mandzukic. Such a counterfactual approach allows us to envision the world in different ways and explore alternative outcomes. 
counterfactual thinking facilitates our understanding of various possible causal relationships. For instance, if you find the last chocolate chip cookie missing from the jar, your first instinct may be to blame your child. However, by considering an alternate possibility, that your spouse might have eaten it, you avoid jumping to conclusions too quickly. Counterfactuals not only apply to everyday situations but also hold significant importance in impactful decisions and global events. A prime example of counterfactual thinking's value lies in the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962. President John F. Kennedy, having learned from his past mistake in the Bay of Pigs disaster, rejected the military's advice for a massive strike on the Soviet Union. Instead, he requested his advisors to think of alternative solutions, which eventually led to a blockade, thus averting a nuclear war. Ultimately, counterfactuals allow us to ponder various options, improve our judgment, and broaden our focus. Embracing this way of thinking helps strengthen our powers of causal reasoning in everyday life as well as significant decision-making situations. Embracing Constraints for Creativity World-renowned architect Frank Gehry found himself paralyzed when given complete freedom to design a house without any constraints, while Dr. Seuss thrived when tasked with writing a book using only 50 different one-syllable words, resulting in the beloved green eggs and ham. Constraints can be a driving force for innovation by narrowing down the universe of possibilities and allowing us to focus on what can be achieved. Recognize the difference between hard and soft constraints and apply principles of mutability, minimal change, and consistency to make the most of limitations and fuel creativity. It may appear counterintuitive, but constraints often spur creativity and innovation. By limiting the available options, constraints create boundaries that prevent becoming overwhelmed by limitless possibilities. They serve as the third and final aspect of framing, with the power to effectively channel our focus. To utilize constraints successfully, differentiate between hard and soft constraints. Hard constraints are essential and unchangeable, while soft constraints can be added, removed, or adjusted. The challenge lies in navigating between the two, which can be guided by understanding mutability, minimal change, and consistency principles. The principle of mutability involves assessing which aspects of a situation can be altered. For example, when running late for a meeting, it's unrealistic to imagine every traffic light turning green to expedite your journey. Instead, explore various transportation options to find the quickest route. The minimal change principle encourages limiting the number of modifications to a constraint set. By focusing on realistic adjustments, you avoid getting lost in far-fetched and unattainable ideas. In conclusion, embracing constraints can significantly boost your creativity and innovation. Recognize the differences between hard and soft constraints, and apply mutability, minimal change, and consistency principles to enhance your problem-solving abilities. Remember, sometimes less is more, and limitations can lead to breakthroughs. Mastering the Art of Reframing To approach situations effectively, choose a reframing strategy based on the context. Explore three major ways of reframing, repertoire, repurposing, and reinvention. By applying these methods, you can develop open-mindedness, embrace the unknown, and be willing to challenge the status quo. Understanding the essence of the saying, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail, illuminates the pitfalls of staying within the comfort zone of familiar frames. While it can sometimes lead to quick and effective decisions, relying solely on the same frames limits one's ability to switch perspectives and reframe situations when needed. Reframing is seldom easy, but resistance to default frames and seeking new ones is often essential to problem solving. To master reframing, consider these three strategies, repertoire, repurposing, and reinvention. First, the repertoire method requires a mental survey of known frames to identify one that's appropriate for the current situation. A prime example is Ben Bernanke, who applied his knowledge of the Great Depression to address the 2008 financial crisis. Second, repurposing involves borrowing an existing frame from another industry or domain. Ingvar Kamprad exemplified this approach when he founded IKEA in the 1950s. At the time, furniture was typically seen as a long-term investment, 
whereas consumer goods were increasingly viewed as disposable and inexpensive. Camprad repurposed this concept for the furniture industry. Lastly, reinvention demands the creation of a new frame, which is often the most challenging strategy. Historically significant reframes, like Charles Darwin's proposal of common ancestry, exemplify the power of reinvention in reshaping our understanding of the world. Successfully employing these reframing methods depends on cultivating particular traits, an open mind, a tolerance for uncertainty, and the courage to challenge established norms. By developing these characteristics, one becomes better equipped to address various situations with fresh perspectives and effective problem-solving strategies. So, tap into your inner repertoire, repurpose from diverse domains, and dare to reinvent when faced with uncharted challenges. Embracing Frame Pluralism In the mid-20th century, tech companies around Boston's Route 128 outnumbered those in Silicon Valley. However, by 1990, the situation was reversed due to the West Coast's focus on innovation and novelty. This shift demonstrates the importance of embracing frame pluralism, having a diverse range of perspectives, to ensure individual, organizational, and societal growth. Encouraging diversity in cognitive foraging helps prevent groupthink, enhances decision-making, and fosters a more open and tolerant society. Throughout the 20th century, the contrasting approaches of East Coast and West Coast tech companies revealed the impact of adopting different perspectives. While East Coast organizations valued stability and hierarchy, West Coast companies promoted innovation and collaboration. This decentralization led to an increase in tech startups in Silicon Valley as employees were encouraged to share ideas and learn from each other. This example highlights the importance of frame pluralism, a diverse range of perspectives, in driving progress at individual, organizational, and societal levels. Societies that suppress diverse thinking, such as those under fascism and communism, are susceptible to fear, violence, and stagnation. In contrast, an open and tolerant society thrives when diverse viewpoints coexist, providing richer insights and fostering growth. Similarly, Teams with diverse backgrounds, outlooks, and perspectives are better equipped to address challenges. Encouraging team members to reflect individually before coming together for group discussions helps safeguard against groupthink and capitalizes on the benefits of varied perspectives. It's vital for individuals to develop a broad range of mental frames to improve decision-making processes. Cognitive foraging, the act of actively seeking out new ways of thinking and understanding the world, is essential in cultivating this diversity. By exploring differing viewpoints and nurturing frame pluralism, people, teams, and societies can unlock their full potential and continue to progress. In conclusion, Framers, by Kenneth Kukier highlights the unique human ability to create and utilize mental frames for understanding and addressing complex issues. As the world continues to grapple with significant challenges such as climate change, pandemics, and political unrest, it is crucial to develop and apply diverse frames that allow us to think critically, question assumptions, and engage with a variety of perspectives. Embrace the power of framing, foster frame pluralism, and embark on cognitive forging to unlock your full potential as an engaged and innovative problem solver in an increasingly technology-driven world.